Alright, we're back. This one is... Well, this narration is following immediately after the first one I did on part two. This one's part three, and we're getting into the combat, finally, after that long-ass intro. That dick. Fucking insane is what his name is. He's annoying. Although, strangely, the annoying characters are the strong ones. I don't know why. Like, Kent here, he is not very strong, but his defenses are way up there once you level him up. Insane is the completely opposite, which actually kind of makes sense because of the, uh, if you were reading, although I don't know why you would be, if you were reading the, the text in the intro, you saw that Kent is more outgoing and aggressive. Not Kent, Sane, yeah, Sent, blah. Sane is more outgoing and, and aggressive, and Kent is very, I don't know how you'd say it, he's very, not defensive because he doesn't get offended, but he's more reserved, yeah, there we go, reserved. So, that's what I find interesting about that. Fix the audio level here. Um, once again, swords, best axes. Oh, yeah, you suck. Oh, one hit. God damn it. Um, oh, another thing I can point out. Do I attack him? Nope. Oh, this is where I check to see uh, if he has a throwing axe. Although, I don't know why I did check for it. At the beginning of this game, nobody has throwing axes. But, if you notice... No, I didn't slow it down enough. I'll do that in the next one. Um, when, the, when you tell somebody to attack, there's a little box that'll pop up. It'll actually give you information like your hit percent and if there's a little times two floating next to uh, the attack command, you'll see you'll do two. Like the show, yeah. See, the hit percent on there was 100, and the damage was 10. But there was no times two next to the damage, so you only attack one time. Like watch, attacks once, gets experience. Now on this next one, after I move Kent over here, do nothing. You'll see on Lin. Wait, there it is, right there. See the 7? There's a 2 floating next to it. That means that she'll attack twice with 7 damage, but... Out of nowhere, she pulls this critical hit out of her ass with 3%. I don't know, but I'll take it, because that's awesome. And that's the end of level... Uh, it wouldn't be level 2, because the prologue was before that, so we'll call it level 1, even though it's part 2. So there you go. The video doesn't end here, though. It keeps going, with more text and lovely speaking. That's the last of them. Fantastic work. Oh, I'm shifting myself here. And now for the Knights of Lycia. And now they go into the story about the uh, the king of Lycia. And he realizes that his mother, or not his mother, his daughter runs off to go live in the uh, the plains. Madeline, yeah, that's the name. Our lord, the Marquess of Kaelin, our only daughter. Only daughter. He was heartbroken. His own daughter would abandon him, so... Eventually, the Marquess simply declared that he had no daughter. Because she ran away. Hint, hint. And this year, we received a letter from Lady Madeline. It said that she, her husband, and their daughter... Look to the right. Blue hair, that's her. The Marquess was ecstatic to learn that his he had a granddaughter of 18 years... I remember the smile on his face when he announced that he suddenly became a grandfather. So basically, Lin is the heir to the throne. And then you get some douchebag grand-uncle guy. I don't remember his name, but... Um, he tries to kill Lin throughout the game. Or throughout her story. And your main objective is to go f reclaim the throne and save your grandfather. It's kind of cheesy, but hey, it's fun. Here it is, right here, Bulger, which is the town that they were in. Uh, where is it? Heard that she was living alone in the plains, which is Lynn. Come on, get to the good stuff. Where is it? Is that douchebag? I don't remember his name. I can never remember the names. Come on, Castle Kalen, that's the capital. That's the last level of this chapter. Not chapter, campaign, whatever you call it. It's all so strange. I was all alone in the world, and now I have a grandfather. Lindis, I never thought I would hear that name again. Uh, wait. The bandit. He called me Lindis, too. Here it is. 
What? How could he have... Vlundgren. That's the guy. That's the great uncle. He's an ass. Long, long, long text. Come on. The story is pretty good, but... The text just at the beginning and the end of each level is just... So long. I wish it was voice acted. They really did, but it's a GBA game, so... I guess they didn't really have the... The ability to do that. Would've been awesome, though. Company just Kalen. K Kalen. I don't know how to say that. I've never been able to figure it out. And then she asks us, do we want to go? And we obviously say yes, because we're cool. And our name is Mitch. Because that's my name. And Mitch is awesome. Yes, I said that. Oh, what are we doing here? Friendship and your aid. Next level? Yep, here we go. Save. Saving's good. Always save. A small altar lies on the outskirts of Bolgar. The ancient temple sacred to the people of Sakeo has long been known for its powerful bond to the world of spirits. Before startling, starting their journey... I can't read that fast. But this altar, Lin's hand is directed to a grand inheritance. I need to slow down that scroll text if I'm actually going to read it. I didn't think I was going to read that. Oh well. That's a sweet sound. I don't have anything to talk about right now. I'm just waiting. Here we go, more text. Altar east of here. People of Sakea go there to pray for the safety uh, at the onset of the long journey. This level isn't really have as many tutorials. This is where the tutorials end. I mean, it, in the next level, I think it's the next one, you get an archer and there's a tutorial about ranged fighting, but it doesn't take up the entire level like the last one. Ah, oh, this guy. Glass, the guy on the left, he's a mercenary. Moni Katai is a sacred blade under divine protection. He cannot be removed from this place of rest. You're a fool, old man. What's good a sword if you don't use it? Use it in combat? Sacrilege! Sacrilege? I am Glass. What a scary name. The gods fear my name. And if I want this sword, then this sword I shall have. Now get out of my way. Oof, I'm old and my bones are brittle. I could have kicked your ass 20 years earlier. This sword was made for a source of my skill. Sorry about that. I got interrupted. I don't know if you could have told... Blah. If it was noticeable or not. Let's see here. This is Lucina, old fool. Been away from this for about 20 minutes, so I don't remember what's going on. <clears throat> oh yeah, they just noticed the... Uh, Guys, just walking in. Oh, here we go. Here comes a citizen. I'm actually outside currently. Because people were annoying me inside, so I moved out here. I seem to intend on stealing the sword. They're going to steal it. I cannot allow this to happen. Look like a virtuous something or other. What are you planning? Ah, stupid bug. Go away. Distracting. Oh, the dogs are here too. Whoa. Over here. Nope, alright, whatever. You listen well. Um. It's a black lab, by the way, if anyone's interested. Say, aren't you the. Oh, you're going to help the priest. Well, perhaps you could benefit from something I saw earlier. Yeah, these, each one of these houses is just information that I already know, because I've beaten this game quite a few times. It's like, oh, ca horses can't run on mountains, and you can break through walls with your weapons. Stuff like that. Oh, and those 